Today we celebrate the 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Let's pray in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May the peace of the Lord be with each of you. And with your spirit. Let us put ourselves before God's mercy and compassion. Lord Jesus, you come to give us healing. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come to give forgiveness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come to guide us by your spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Yeah, mighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Let us bow our heads and pray. Almighty God, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty with sincerity of heart. 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have grasped, to subdue nations before him and strip kings of their robes, to open doors before him, and the gates shall not be closed. For the sake of my servant Jacob and Israel my chosen, I call you by your name. I surname you, though you do not know me, I am the Lord and there is no other. Besides me, there is no God. I arm you, though you do not know me, so that all may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is no one besides me. I am the Lord and there is no other. My brothers and sisters, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians, from Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy, to the church of the Thessalonians, and God the Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We always give thanks to God for all of you and mention you in our prayers, constantly remembering before our God and Father your work of faith and labor of love and steadfastness of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. For we know, brothers and sisters, beloved by God, that he has chosen you. Because our message of the gospel came to you not in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with all full convictions. My brothers and sisters, the word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees went and plotted to entrap Jesus in what he said. So they sent the disciples to Jesus along with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are sincere 
and teach the way of God in accordance with the truth, and show deference to no one, for you do not regard people with partiality. Tell us then what you think. Is it lawful to pay taxes to the emperor or not? But Jesus, aware of the malice in their hearts, said, Why are you putting me to the test, you hypocrites? Show me the coin used for the tax. They brought Jesus a denarius. Jesus said to them, Whose head is this and whose title? They answered, Caesar's. And Jesus said to them, Give therefore to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. My sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Where now do you need grace, and where do you need God's peace? So where, where do you need God's grace, and where do you need God's peace? I know I need God's grace to not get lost and give up in all this crazy stuff that goes on right now. I need God's grace to continue to give me the wisdom, the energy, the insight, the courage to keep doing the right thing and not getting sidetracked from figuring out how we can go and think outside the box to how we create the mass that you're now praying with us, to how that we continue to use Zoom to do our parish meetings and use Zoom to do, like I use it now for marriage counseling, marriage preparation counseling, and the list goes on and on. I've had more screen time in the last six months than the previous six years. So I, I really need God's grace to give me that wisdom and strength to figure out how to best use my energy to meet the demands of the day. And I definitely need God's peace to go and help me to be grounded and to be balanced. Because the word peace in you know, the scriptures means more than just the stop of chaos, but it means a sense of harmony, a sense of shalom, a sense of, of balance. So the second reading today, when Silvus and Paul and Timothy are writing to the first community they helped to form, the people in, in, among the Thessalonians, this was written probably about 50 AD, so about a generation, maybe half a generation after Jesus is risen and goes up to heaven. And so they're saying to this early community, we wish you God's peace and God's grace so that you can continue to do the good work that you're doing that you can continue to keep working to build God's kingdom. The text says to go on to do the work and the strength it takes to let God's love happen around you, to be people of hope, to continue to put your faith into action. So where is it today that we need to hear those same words? Where do we need to hear the words that God is with us to give us the strength we need not to give up? to keep doing the practical and the hard work. It's hard work to build God's kingdom. It's hard work to go and stand in line to vote or to have a plan of how we're going to vote. It takes energy and focus to continue to make Black Lives Matter because it's easy to find some way to say the words but not do the work. I'll give you a very practical example. This week we're going to go and gather on Wednesday and Thursday nights in the church hall here at 6 o'clock to stuff 4,000 envelopes this is our big Christmas fundraiser for our virtual Christmas concert. But this fundraiser is really important because the fundraiser helps us here at St. Martin's to gather enough funds to continue to help people in emergency situations so they can get the food they need to eat, housing, utilities, and a few toys, hopefully, for their kids. And to continue to subsidize the Narcotics Anonymous meetings that meet next door. So all this money that we're gathering has to be, the first step is we have to get the letters out, which means we need people to gather on Thursday, Wednesday night, Thursday night, 6 o'clock. But this is part of the hard work. I mean, just like it's hard work to choose to be loving to someone, even though they're mean to us. So this early Christian community knows that it's hard work to be a Christian. As we say today, it's hard work to take our faith to the street. It's easy to talk about on Sunday morning, it's harder to live it out the rest of the week. So I just invite us to hear what else the scriptures say today. We hear that first reading where God says, I've called you by name. I have chosen you. When each of us are baptized, we're called by name. When I was baptized 72 years ago, some priest said, 
Michael, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. When we're confirmed, we're called by name. So we are called by name by God. God knows us. He knows our strengths and our weaknesses. He also knows our talents and the abilities we have. So we are in this special time now, no matter how crazy it seems around us, God has called us to be in this time, in this space, with all the issues going on, because God has given us gifts that other people would not have had years ago. So we are called in this time and space to use our gifts to continue to build God's kingdom. That means we have to figure out ways that we would have never thought of years ago. Like I would have never thought that we'd be doing virtual mass, that we would do, be doing a mass where we're live streaming the mass, where I would be talking to people over Zoom. There's lots of ways that we continue to build God's kingdom in ways that I never thought of before, and you never thought of before. But together, we use our gifts and our talents to do what the scriptures say, to be people of love, grounded in faith, and open to God and hope of God. So may we continue to be people who are able to hear God's word and to be grounded in God's word and open to God's spirit so that we can do our part to build God's kingdom of justice and peace. God has called us by name to be people who are peacemakers, to be people who are grace-filled. May we use our gifts and talents to build up the Lord's kingdom around us. Amen. I invite you to pray with me our creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things are made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified in a Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. With confidence, let us present to the Lord our needs. For all those who have died from COVID-19 and for those who continue to suffer from the effects of the coronavirus, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all those, those families and teachers and students who continue to struggle to get an education in spite of the pandemic, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we might continue to use our energies to work for racial justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. I invite you to lift up the needs you carry in your hearts. Lord God, we lift up to you these and all of our needs. We make them known through your son, Jesus, who lives with us and through us now and forever. Amen. So we prepare our altar. I can thank you for your continuing support. It's one good reason why I like to open the mail and hear things fall through the front door of the rectory. And these days, it's fun to always look online to see how we're doing with the parish self-giving and PayPal. So thank you very much for your continued support. St. Martin's is able to use your resources to be a blessing to others. Lord God, we ask that you bless this bread, this wine, fruit of the field, and fruit of the vine, so it soon becomes the very body and blood of Jesus. Blessed be God forever. May my friends, that my sacrifice in yours may become acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all the church. Grant us, we pray, a sincere respect for all the gifts that you bless us with. Continue to strengthen us with your grace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image and set us over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all that you've made and forever praise you in your mighty works through your Son, Jesus. We join all the angels as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray. By sending down your spirit, that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willing into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. And let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died, Christ, Christ is risen, risen. Christ, Christ will come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks you have helped us and kept us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Wilton, our bishop, and all the women and men who lead and guide the church. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And we especially remember all those who have died from COVID-19. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, Martin, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him, with him, in him. O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray in the words that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with each of you. And with your spirit. I invite you to share the sign of the Lord's peace with those around you. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but I only say the word and my soul which be healed. I invite all of you to spiritually invite the risen Lord and Eucharist to come into your hearts to give you the grace, the peace, the strength, the wisdom that you need this week to put your faith into action. This is the body of Christ.
Let us bow our heads and pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from gathering together as members of your body, that we might be strengthened by your grace so that we can work for justice and peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you to join with me as we pray together our family prayer for justice and human dignity put together by Archbishop Wilton Gregory and the bishops of the Archdiocese. Loving and faithful God, we come to you, Father, to ask that through your Son, Jesus, in a communion with the Holy Spirit, you help us in the battle against America's original sin of racism that divides us from being the body of Christ that we are called to be as your children. We implore you to give us your wisdom so that we may build a community founded on the gospel message of the life and dignity of all people from the womb to the tomb and to live in communion like the divine communion of the Holy Trinity. Bless parents that they may form their children in faith to love one another regardless of skin color, ethnicity, and national origin, just as Jesus loves us. Protect, bless and protect us as we live out our faith and be instruments of your peace, as St. Francis said. Fill us with a thirst for justice and righteousness. Hear our prayer and give us the courage, compassion, and perseverance to root out any form of injustice within our community and to bring the healing love of Christ to all in need. Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of our Church, hasten to help us and intercede on our behalf so that our Archdiocese can continue to witness to the gospel and message of life and dignity of all people. Amen. Our announcements this week. Parish Council meets on Tuesday, October 20th at 7 o'clock. And we gather to stuff our 4,000 envelopes for our Christmas fundraiser. On Wednesday, October 21st and Thursday, October 22nd at 6 o'clock in the evening, down in the Pioneer Room, I will have snacks and sandwiches available. We'll have tables spread out. We can do about 12 to 14 tables scattered throughout the entire hall. So we can work and socially distance. We now do a Mass at 12 noon every Sunday, so we invite those that are healthy to come in person for the Mass, and that Mass will also be live-streamed. In addition, this Mass that you're now seeing, which is released on Saturday night around 9 o'clock, this Mass will continue to be available. So you have two options of how you can pray with us and pray with all the people at St. Martin's. We are 
during the process now for folks who want to become Catholics. If you want to become Catholic or be confirmed as an adult, if you let me know, I'll put you in touch with our team that does that. Sunday School is still meeting online on Zoom. And so if you need to get connected, if you hear an email, email, either June or myself will help you to get all set up. I encourage you to figure out a plan and to vote if you've not done so. And you have, a, I don't know how many days is left, but whatever it is, it's important that we all encourage other people in our families, among our friends who often have set out the election to say this time we all need to be, as the bishops say, to be faithful citizens and vote. We still have yard signs. I have more of the yard signs here. Racism is not patriotism. Black Lives Matter stronger together. All the cool hands with different colors and hearts. So we have these here at the rectory and the church. If you want a copy, you're welcome to have one. They're all free. I want to thank our readers today, Ivan and Priscilla, and I want to thank Nova for her music. Oh, and one of the birthday, birthdays I know about next uh, Friday, October 23rd, is Katrina Boberman's birthday. So happy and blessed birthday. And for all those birthdays I don't know about, may God bless you and your birthday. I think that's all I have. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Lord continue to strengthen us by God's grace that we might have God's peace in our hearts so that we can work to build up God's kingdom of justice and peace. And let the church say, Amen. Amen. May the Lord give blessing in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Say, Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Say, Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Say, Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Say, Lord, you're mighty. Say, Lord, you're mighty. 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 Come on, Lord, you're mighty. 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 Oh, Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Oh, Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. You set your glory above the head